honored to be here. I want to congratulate Mr. Deva and Madam Kolkarni for the leadership role they're playing in bringing attention to this important issue. Uh, and, and I'm not an expert uh, in ethics or culture and business, and, uh, but it's quite clear. We talk about the need for better ethics, better trust. And there are many people doing good things. But actually, if I were to ask the audience here, you would each one have a different example. Collectively, you would not know what the other person is doing. So there is something missing in the area of ethics and trust. Uh, Mr. Ahuja rightly pointed out, it goes back to the start of civilization. <coughs> Whichever civilization start date you take, it was a lack of trust which created a schism. Uh, at the United Nations, uh, whilst we engage with business, the first time the private sector came to the United Nations, people would say, what is the agenda? Why do we trust the private sector? Because they only have one principle in mind, to improve their bottom line. We also tend to forget, as public servants, uh, that we also have a single agenda. We want the social bottom line. Do we not think that the private sector is there to do well and also to do good? If you, we look at the prism of poverty alleviation. Business community looks at wealth creation. We look at it as a handout by saying we must make grants, we must make, uh, do philanthropy, charity, etc. But actually what we need is to look at the investment model. How can we invest in the poor? So it, it, there was a time when in the United States, excuse me, <clears throat> there was this concept of greed is good. Now we are rethinking that model. But the issue of ethics does not exist in the formal documentation. If you look at the resolutions passed at the United Nations, the mandate set for governments to implement the various treaties and resolutions do not bring in the culture, the issue of ethics. It's like religion doesn't feature in the Millennium Development Goals but they're at the heart of all things good, and sometimes some people might say all things evil. So we need to figure out how some of these elements are an integral and open platform for action. You'll hear, uh, as Mr. Uja said, he had some very good uh, examples of doing good. I have we talk about corporate social responsibility. And I hope you'll excuse me if I say this, that increasingly, corporate social responsibility is an 80s methodology where we thought it was good, good corporate behavior to do good. That was 2% of the bottom line, half a percent of the bottom line. What we want is the entire 99.8% that DNA to come through for doing well and doing good. And how does that happen? It happens actually because of leaders like Mr. Ahuja who says, look, we need to be looking at our stakeholders, our supply chain, our customers in a more holistic way because I don't want these people to be here as short-term customers. I, I need to think of the community as well. And therefore, it is more a culture, not of corporate social responsibility, but personal social responsibility. And when you, when you approach it from that perspective, you actually look, you have a different prism in mind. When you become responsible for not only the actions of yourself, but for others, you increasingly start to think of it as a way uh, where you might build that trust. I'm sorry, the 
light has gone off, so maybe I might ask you to check the time for me. <laughs> Good excuse, but it doesn't. Please. I tried. <laughs> I got five seconds grace only. Um, so I want to share with you, uh, I, I, I want to <clears throat> give you a, a thought. This is a rare forum which you're at, where the discussion in an open platform in a plenary is about ethics and business. We are involved in a couple of initiatives. Uh, for example, one is the Pearl Initiative uh, in the Gulf region where we have put together the CEOs in the region for them to create a culture of transparency and accountability with a twin agenda. One is attract more investment capital, but two, also address the Millennium Development Goals. So do well and do good on that principle that ethics builds trust and builds better business. There's another new initiative. You know, we've, we're living the, uh, dare I say, the worst financial crisis of our time. We are in a situation where, I'm sorry to use the uh, expression, the lost generation. The lost generation is amongst us. And what are we doing about it? We talk about it, we say, oh, terrible unemployment of young people. Spain has X percent, Portugal has this, Italy has that. Do we know of any initiative which does that, which addresses that? We're not doing it. But that's a separate topic. Uh, so I want to put this to you that maybe we should create a charter, an actionable charter, which, whereby we showcase the good things what Mr. Ahuja and other CEOs are doing, other organizations are doing, governments are doing, and provide that as a kind of an interactive uh, database on the website of the World Forum so that people can learn and replicate it. Thank you very much.